so I wanted to do just a very just another kind of real video in my feelings kind of video I think they're you know cathartic for me and then hopefully helpful for other people but so Mars has gone into retrograde and like oh it's fine but it's just sh shown light on my need to wrap up the shit that has just entered my life over the last two years and put that shit in a box and ship that shit off um and so I'm just my patience is worn thin because it's just in my face like yo you need a deal deal you need a deal and so yeah I, I do need to deal and I guess I'm grateful for this opportunity to do that but I'm gonna be honest like I didn't ask for it and I know like this is this is just human life it's I'm not special my problems aren't special I am aware of that but I am still me and it still makes me feel what I feel and it makes me angry and it makes me frustrated and it makes me mad at my guides I feel like I've been having a lot of like bait and switch in the in my just universal experience just like I make a decision to go do a thing based off of all these little things that come together and then somehow all that shit unravels and I still up and still end up in that space but it's like then what the fuck was that here why like what is the point what is the point and that just keeps being like a theme in my life it's not even a belief I hold like I'm currently doing the shadow work on that it's just what is that like I'm done with that shit I need a new I need some drew fucking wiring because I would love to know what it feels like to plan and go through with your plans and then the shit work out the way you wanted it to. Like, I would like to experience that. <clears throat> I guess in some ways, though, like, when I moved to New York, right, my first five years... I felt were just a gift really I didn't expect anything when I moved to New York I didn't have a reason to move to New York I just did I had a dream and then I followed that dream literally it wasn't like a lofty abstract dream like a dream like I went to sleep had a dream I lived in New York I woke up the next day and said I was moving to New York and that was that and I think because I didn't have any expectations, like, everything was a positive experience for me because everything was a new experience and that's all that I was asking for. And then I had the nerve, I had the nerve to make a plan. I had the nerve to, like, go out on a limb and try something that I was, that I am really passionate about I have the nerve to try some shit and it has just been one hardship after another since making that decision you know and like that's fine normal everybody goes through it but then how do you get over feeling fucked you know how do you get over feeling like a positive path was just tainted maybe that's like entitlement maybe you know maybe there's a little bit of entitlement there that I feel because I'm like sticking with something and it's hard you know maybe I feel like because I made a different decision that it should be easy maybe 
I'm willing to accept that as a possibility. And I'm willing to accept that maybe I need to check my entitlements in that way. Hmm. I don't know. That said, <clears throat> this video was supposed to be entitled Cast the Circle and Cry, but I think I'm just going to say that for my blog. And this is just a ramble. Um... Because I just spent the last hour just angrier than I've ever felt in my life. Seriously. And I spent the last, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, I cried for like five hours. I've never cried longer than 20 seconds since I was a kid like seriously I would start crying as a kid and I would look in the mirror and I would think I looked funny so I would start laughing I bullshit you not so <laughs> I don't know I would just it was weird I had this weird like awareness I would look in the mirror and I'd be like you look funny you know you're crying and that's ridiculous and then I would just smile and then because I was smiling with these like tears streaming down my face I just felt like I looked really dumb <laughs> and that made me laugh and that was it you know that's just I'll something will make me cry and I'll do it I have no problem with crying like I have no issues with it I love it it's catharsis it's good to get that out I just don't cry that much and I don't cry that long <laughs> and it was like a just a breakdown like a two year this is exhausting I need some extra terrestrial help at this point. If the greys are listening, if the every entity that's probably visited this planet that we thought was God, like, they're listening. I just, you know, throw some coding my way, reprogram some shit because I can't do this anymore. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> Not this problem. Like, <laughs> not this one. I, give me something else to work on. Let's move through the chakras. Let's work on the sacral. Let's get the fuck out of the root. Because I, this shit is hard. And maybe that's because I'm just air element straight through. So this is like, not. The, I, this is a takeaway for me, maybe. I thrive. When I just let life do its thing, thrive. But I want to balance, you know? I want to know that I can control the good things in my life, too. Um... And that I don't have to completely just depend on serendipity all the fucking time. Like, I get it. Serendipity is just all I know. And I would like to have some hand in, like, the best moments of my life. So, I don't know. That's just where I am. That's how I feel. Um, I was supposed to Facebook Live every day for 30 days, but I'm going to YouTube instead because I like to take this private moment to just talk to my camera. And the reason that I think it's really beneficial for me to put this up publicly is that I can't bullshit y'all like I <laughs> could sit here and say all this shit to myself and not have come to the conclusions that I just came to because I don't front for people <laughs> it's weird right I'll front for myself I know that's so fucking backwards, but like, it's so true.
I just, I don't see any good. I don't see any purpose in pretending with other humans. I say that shit for when I'm alone in my room and I'm trying to, like, grasp another thought, you know? That's where the pretending comes in to, like, just take another perspective. Just do some acting. Just, what's it like, you know? But, and I, I'm not saying that's all the time, but I, I am purposeful with my fraudulence. <laughs> because I think, to be honest, as human beings... We can adapt into whatever we want. We can change a million times over in our lives. I don't think I don't think there is a way to be inauthentic as a human being, personally. I think you know when people are just like whack as fuck. But whack as fuck is and is different than inauthenticity. Everything is real. If it's happening, it's real. Like this is it. There might be some dissonance. Sure. People are acting with some cognitive dissonance on a daily basis, but I don't think it's possible to be fake. <clears throat> I think that is the wrong way to approach that subject. I just went off into a whole different place. That said, <laughs> I think I'm going to do like these little videos daily for the next 30 days because it's just maybe therapeutic. And I don't feel like being live because I don't feel like talking to people. Like, I just kind of want to be in my own shit right now. So, if you want to watch this, if you get something out of it, great. If you don't, you know, it's not, it's not going to be the thing that I'm, like, necessarily concerned about advertising or sharing. It's just... Maybe like video logs. I'm cold right now. I'm so cold. I was blistering. So I'm kind of just shivering. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, being an ear, whoever's listening. And I will see you guys tomorrow.